Hello guys, Robobat1 here, coming at you with uh, a hero hand testing video. Now, I thought, I thought, why not, seeing as I've just released my new hero list um, the other day, why not give you guys uh, a hand testing video to show you kind of what the deck can do outside of like its standard shenanigans, um, and obviously see what we can get with specific hands, because obviously this deck has a lot of different hands that you could potentially have, and a lot of different combos that you could potentially see. So I thought, why not see what we can do with specific hands, um, and just try and make some interesting boards of heroes. So. Let's get into this because I kind of I want to see what we can make with heroes and see if we can make any really good boards. So let's see. We have opened an absolutely nuts hand with one brick in the hand. We'd never want to be seeing this card. So with this hand, obviously, we start off straight away by activating a hero lives. Um, best ash bait, but we're going to imagine right now that our opponent doesn't have ash just because uh, for just for the sake of the video to see what kind of board we can make. Um, so we go ahead, summon out the Stratos, and then we'll trigger the Stratos, which will go ahead and get us a Faris. Um, after we've got the Faris, this goes grave, we're going to go ahead and discard Malicious, summoning the Faris. Uh, Faris is then going to activate its effect and trigger, and we're going to go ahead and place a increase in the Spell and Trap card zone. We go ahead and use the increase, tribute the Faris. Summon out the increase. Increase triggers. Summoning out Vision Hero Far Vion. Uh, we'll then use Vion, which is going to go send our Shadow Mist. We do not use Shadow Mist's effect because we want to be able to search our mass change. Um, that's very integral. Unless you're going second, then you're just going to OTK your opponent anyway. Uh, anyway, um, now we're going to go ahead and use the uh, Vion. And we'll banish the Faris. So we'll go ahead and put the Faris over here. That We'll call that the Banish Zone. Um, and we're going to go ahead and search out Polymerization. So Poly's your hand now. Okay. We're then going to go ahead and link the Forest and the v Increase into a Cross Crusader. Cross Crusader will then trigger. And we'll summon back the Malicious. We'll then use Cross Crusader, tributing the Malicious. You know what that looks like is actually on the board, so we're going to go ahead and put it down here. Our eyes view. Um, and we're going to go ahead and search to our hand um, a. You know what? We're going to go interesting with this. We're going to go ahead and add Solid Soldier. Actually, you know what? No, we'll add. Yeah, we'll add Solid Soldier. Because I'm going to try and make a somewhat more interesting board than I normally would with this deck. Actually, then I, that I'm possible making is because I've actually have made this board before that I've now just realized. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the rotor. Rotor will go ahead and get us the liquid. No, 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 not the liquid, sorry. We don't get the liquid, we get a Stratos. You need to get Stratos here because then you can search the liquid and have an additional monster. Alright, so we go ahead and add the Stratos to hand. And we'll go ahead and normal the Sword Soldier uh, in the column down here. Um, and we'll go ahead and special the Stratos in the far end. And then we'll use Stratos' effect. Which will go ahead and get us a Liquid Man. And remember, we still haven't used any of our Malleys. So we still have access to other stuff. Um, okay, now we're going to go ahead and activate Polymerization. And we're going to fuse the Liquid Man and the Solid Soldier into Elemental Hero Sunriser. Now, so, now we got big chain links, so we go chaining once we go chaining one liquid man, chaining two sunriser, and chaining three solid soldier. So solid soldier is going to summon out the shadow mist. Sunrise is going to go ahead and add a miracle fusion. Okay, and then liquid man is going to draw two and discard one. Okay, so one. Two. Oh wow, we're gonna have all mass changes, mass changes in our hand. That's busted. Um, and we're gonna discard the celestial and add a mass change due to Shadow Mist's effect. So now we have all our mass changes in hand. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Um, there we go. So 
this is our current hand. This was this was a brick, um, and we still we're still going strong. We're still going strong. So after we've done this, we go ahead and activate Miracle Fusion. And Miracle Fusion is going to banish our Shadow, our Solids, uh, sorry, our Liquid Man, and Vion. So they're gone now. And we're going to go ahead and summon out Absolute Zero. All right. So, and finally, we go ahead and link the Stratos in the far column and the Cross Crusader into a Dread Decimator. And we'll have two Mask Chains set. Pretend, actually, we could just set all three Mask Chains, but I don't think I would actually do that. Because of uh, Lightning Storm could be a card or something. Um, but we basically, this end board is, we've got a boosted, we've got uh, these all boosted by one, two, three... Four, five, six, um, one, two, three, four. So eight hundred, six hundred, four. All of these, all of these, these are boosted by fourteen hundred, and this is boosted by eight hundred. So, and we've also got a dark law and an absolute acid to essentially just banish all cards our opponent controls, and that's actually a pretty insane turn one board, um, just from being able to open up a hero who lives, <laughs> along with a uh, mass change, no, along with um, reinforcements of the army and uh, Mali. So that was the first hand test, broken hands, broken hands. Obviously we won't open up like this always, so we'll see what we can do with a different hand. Alright. First hand is was busted though. Just but we didn't we, we didn't say they had the Ash Blossom, but if they did have the Ash Blossom, obviously that board would have been completely different. Um we would still would have we would have still had a dark law, I think. Um but it wouldn't have been an easy one to make. Okay. So there we go. One, two, three four five new hand oh this hand's busted as well all right let's see what we can make with this hand so we're gonna go ahead and discard the melee summon the forest so forest is gonna trigger and we're gonna go ahead and put increase in the spanish record zone increase effect will trigger uh get rid of forest and we'll go ahead and summon the increase and the vial the vial's gonna then happen and we're going to go ahead and send Shadow Mist, not using its effect. We want to search Mars Change. We want that Mars Change. Uh, we're then going to use Vion, banishing the forest, searching out a polymerization. All right, where are you? There you are. Pretty much, just don't ever forget that you can search poly in this deck, so you can always have that ac the access to it. Um, then we're going to link these two, summoning the cross, and then cross is going to go ahead and summon the Mali. Um, cross Crusade is going to tribute the Mali, and we're going to go ahead and get a, a Solid Soldier again. Um, where is it? There it is. Pretty much, we're going to end on the same board that we had before. Um, so we're going to go ahead and then use the equal to get the Stratos. Grab Stratos from our deck. A normal special Stratos effect. Go ahead and add us a Liquid Soldier. Uh, polymerization. These two into Sunriser. Um, chain links uh, one, two, three. Summoning the Shadow Mist. Searching the Miracle Fusion again. Um, and then drawing two and discarding one. Um, one, two. We can discard the second Ash Blossom that we just drew. Um, these are engraved. And we get to search a mass change as well. Uh, so we get the mass change to hand. Not being finished. Um, 
you know what? This should have been summoned over here. Uh, because basically what you want to do is you want to summon this here for what is the specific reason that we're now going to move this over here. Um, just Let's just say we did that for the sake of the combo because we opened the Fusion Destiny and I want to make sure you guys can see that we're able to, we're fully capable of doing what I'm about to do. Um, uh, so we're going to go ahead and link these two uh, into the Dread Decimator. Then we're going to go ahead and use Miracle Fusion. Uh, banishing this and banishing the Vion. Summoning out the Absolute Zero. Then we're going to go ahead and use Fusion Destiny. Fusion Destiny is going to go ahead and dump a Plasma and Celestial. Getting those out of the deck. Summoning out a Dystopia. Here. Uh, yeah, here we'll do. We can just put the extract there for now. Um, and then we go ahead and set the mass change. And we basically have all of this for our opponent's turn. So on our opponent's turn, we have access to a whole monster board wipe. Because I believe we can just target any card on the board. Uh, during either player's turn... Uh, it's kind of, you can take one card on the field. So we do. So we can basically, this is boosting this, so we, and this is boosting it as well. So what we can do there is we can basically use this to pop this to basically ragek your opponent's board. We can use this to make um, a Dark Law in any way it, when we want to. We've got a Cosmic Cyclone to basically banish any spell and track back row our opponent has. And we drew Ash Blossom, so if they do have a Searcher effect, we can disrupt our opponent through that. So this was this is basically a better board than the first one. And shows you can make this board um, without obviously uh, the help of um, the help of <clears throat> a hero lives. So let's put this all back again, and we'll try one more hand to show you guys a different, hopefully a different combo. Because I don't want to do the same combo over and over again. Because obviously there will be times you're disrupted um, and stuff. So we'll say our opponent. Let's say our opponent has an Imperm and an Ash Blossom in their hand for this one. Alright. So we shuffle this up properly. Just do it really good. Alright. So one, two, three, four, five. So, <laughs> our opponent has an Ash Blossom and an Imperm in their hand for this. So we start with this. This gets Ashed. Um... Now, because of our, we know our opponent has an Ash Blossom and an Imperm in, well, we don't know they have an, they have an Ash Blossom and an Imperm in their hand. We're going to go ahead and say we just lose this game, <laughs> pretty much, because what we, what, well, actually, no, we don't lose the game because there's a, still a way to play around and you wouldn't normal summon this in this case. So what I would actually do is I would um, attempt to use Faris and then I'll discard the Solid Soldier and summon the Faris. And we use, attempt to use the forest effect, but let's say the forest is impermed. So after that, we would go ahead and normal summon the Vion, and then we'll trigger the Vion. So we've been both ashed and impermed, so let's see what we can do. Uh, so we go ahead and send the Mali, and we'll go ahead and use... You know what, we won't actually send the Mali in this in this instance, because we can't actually uh, get to Dark Claw right now anyway. Instead of sending the Mali, we're going to go ahead and send our Shadow Mist, wherever he is. And then we're going to use Shadow Mist to get the militia Mali. No, that's a terrible idea. We just get the, we just send the Mali. We just send the Mali. Alright. So now we're going to go ahead and use Vion. Vion will banish the Solid Soldier and search us a Polymerization. Wherever that is. Alright. Cool, so we have Polymerization. Now, we'll link these two. Summon out Cross Crusader. Cross Crusader summons out the Mali, then Cross Crusader is going to tribute the Mali. Now, we've already normaled, so we're not going to really do much with anything else. So, we're, I think the best course of action is to try and get more draws. So, what we're going to do is... Um, we're going to go ahead and get a Liquid Man. And then we'll banish the Mali, which we'll go ahead and summon another Mali. 
Now, we're going to try and aim for a Dark Claw still, so we're going to go ahead and use Polymerization and fuse the Malley and the Malish and the Liquid Soldier into Sunriser. Now, Chilling 1 will be the Liquid Man and Chilling 2 will be the Sunriser. So, we're going to go ahead and grab us a... Where's the Miracle Fusion? There it is. Go ahead and grab us a Miracle Fusion. Shuffle this up. And we'll see what we can draw off these two cards. So, draw one. That's a Fusion Destiny, so that's already really good. And that's two Fusion Destinies, so we can actually go really far with this. Um, so now that we've got this, what we're going to do is... We're going to go ahead and discard one of the Fusion Destinies, obviously, so that's gone. And we're going to go ahead and use Miracle Fusion. So we'll use Miracle Fusion. We'll banish a Vion and the Liquid Man <clears throat> to summon out the Absolute Zero. Then we're going to go ahead and use Mali. So we'll banish the Mali. And summon out the other Mali from the deck. Alright. Now we're going to link the Mali and the Cross Crusader into a Dread Decimator. And we'll go ahead and use Fusion Destiny. Sending to Grave, Dystopia, uh, sorry, Celestial and Plasma to summon out the Dystopia from the extra deck. So, now what the end board basically is is we have an impermanence to essentially negate any monster effect our opponent has. We've got Dystopia that can pop any card our opponent controls, or or um, we can uh, pop Absolute Zero to then just Raigeki our opponent's board on their turn. Um, now, this obviously isn't the strongest board, and we could have ended on s probably other boards if we did go through different routes of the specific cards. Um, but remember, this is a board that we made when we got both Ash and Impermanenced. Now, obviously, people could uh, do it at different points in time. People could try to hold it. People could try to see what they want to do in different areas. Um, but this is when your opponent could potentially have Ash and Imperm in their hands. So this is just something that I wanted to showcase. Now, obviously, we might not have been able to get to this board because we did draw the Fusion Destiny off of uh, the liquid soldier thanks to his really good effect of being able to draw two and discard one um but this is all just cut in case of what my opponent can do what we can do this is just a hand i wanted to showcase for that but guys thank you so much for watching um this has been a hand testing video uh it's obviously just of the deck list of my heroes um the deck profile for that will be in the description below it will be listed as last video because this video will probably come out of the day after of the uh actual hero deck list so if you want if you want to go see the deck profile, please check that out in the description below. It will be listed as the last video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like to show that you want to see more hand testing videos like this when I release a deck profile. Um, and if you enjoyed the video in general and just want to show your support, don't forget to subscribe to, you know, see future content. And guys, there is something I want to say for all of you out there. Um, I will, there will be something coming up on the channel soon, a stream, and it will be a stream for a my team, Team Black Rose Dragon. It will either be on my channel or the Facebook page, so please check out the Facebook page in the comment section below, where we'll basically be having a team tournament, an eight-man knockout event. We'll be using Master Rule 5 rules, and we'll also be... Um, <clears throat> use it playing a different deck each round so if you're interested in that please keep an eye out for that as well and as always guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe check out the facebook pages and i will see you guys later robert bat one signing out see you later all